When I stay in the class, of course, I worry to keep my audience alive or awake. Uh, I have all those professors' arsenal of funny examples, humorous anecdotes, and stories to tell. And uh, sometimes it works. Uh, nothing could uplift even a lecturer better than smiling faces of students, a laughter sparkling through the class, or positive emotion in the air. Having been forced to provide much of lectures remotely, I painfully realized that I cannot track emotional feedback of my audience anymore. Students' cameras are mostly off, microphones are muted, and my potentially funny jokes meet total silence. But besides emotional course environment, I feel like younger people are much more demanding in terms of communication. They are very selective in choosing the way the information is packaged and delivered. They immediately switch their attention to something else. Am I right, Anastasia? You are definitely a professor. We don't need any research to conclude that education migrates towards service sector, where customer satisfaction, engagement, positive experience, and after all, happiness are the key indicators of success. And that's not always a bad idea. But it requires specific efforts in course design and implementation. When you start teaching digitally, especially when you transform your course into asynchronous form, the number of enrollments grow. The growth of the amount of learners should not reduce the interactivity, mentoring efforts, assessment quality. Design your interactions with each learner, or if there are too many, organize the integration of the groups in the course, forum or chat, for example. Count every effort of learners. The learner should not feel alone through the course. If amount of learners is high, use learning analytic tools, even artificial intelligence, to add interactivity with the content. Course completing should leave the digital footprint, improve learner's portfolio. It is very nice if all the efforts of the learner through the course are collected as a portfolio. Well, as interesting as important. So goes my traditional question. Uh, what are the tools to make it happen? Uh, we plan to name specific digital tools of interactivity increase in another module. but. Let me share here general directions to go. Gamification. Dashboards, digital pages, points earned, and other quantitative indicators will add to the learning experience some feeling of competition and excitement to win more. And of course, it will help the assessment later. Quizzes, tests, discussion boards, course charts, feedbacking, cross-reviewing. All these elements of the course will increase engagement, interactivity, and course progress assessment. Learning analytics is as challenge as a powerful instrument to be used in the course design. It will track learners' progress and proactively help. It can also be used to adapt to customize the content or the way of delivery to specific learner. Finally, Imagine a bot assisting your students with small standard questions, warnings, encouragements, if you are too busy with other things. Make sure that the learner knows that all his or her efforts are counted. Moreover, collected by the end of the course in a nice report, ideally it should be a personal electronic portfolio for each learner, some kind of learning blockchain. It's always a good idea to provide a certificate of the completion of the course. By the way, it can be a method of monetizing or crowdfunding of your teaching efforts. Many massive online courses teach for free, but take a small fee for the certificate.